Hey everyone, it's Tom from HIDProjectors.com and this is an update on the L-Road installation. And someone on the forums had asked if we could put the 4TLR in the L-Road without actually removing the lens. And we did it this morning, it's actually quite possible and, and honestly it's pretty easy. So I've already done it here, but I want to show you guys what I had to do to get there. So once we remove this, black, this, this back plate, which you guys know just these snap out, the back plate removes, you can then... Uh, untwist the bulb holder which is right here this igniter uh, then the bulb will come out here's the bulb that's the bulb holder that has to be taken out now you have access to the projector what you had in the back of the projector were three of these I believe they're 930 seconds nuts these three can be removed by just using a simple extension I actually use this big guy here uh, and it came out real easy once that was out, the projector was loose, but the width of the projector is wider than the width of this section here, so I wasn't able to Tetris it out. I removed the plug on the leveling motor, and I removed the high beam bulb to try to give myself a little room. I just wasn't able to do it. So instead of trying to force anything, I decided to take the projector apart while it was still inside the light. So I turned it sideways so I could get access to the front here and there were these four screws, or actually there's five screws here. I think these are um, T15 bit, so the Torx bit. And you could take each one of those out, twist it one way, take them out, twist it the other way, take it out. Again, I used this long extension and I just kind of taped up a quarter inch drive so I could get access to it. Came out real easy. And then what I was left with inside the light were these pieces here. Some of the screws fell in, but you can just turn the light over and kind of shake them out. Uh, this is the cutoff shield. The front half of the projector comes out, then the back half of the projector was able to slide out, and I had full access. So then next, we took the, uh, we had to take this bracket off. That was the last piece that was in there. That was held on by two T20 screws, which you will reuse. So all this stuff here, you're not going to reuse. Hopefully you're upgrading your bulbs from our website, so you don't have to worry about that bulb again. Get a nicer, brighter, new bulb for your 15-year-old all-road. Uh, what goes in next is the projector. It actually fits in pretty easy, just kind of slides in. You'll note that the two mounting posts down here line right up. You reuse the same screws that you took off of this bracket. That's all I did. I didn't do anything extra, and it is in there real solid. Uh, for peace of mind, you might want to try to figure out something. Guys who take their lights apart probably would be a good idea to do something up there, but, I mean, this thing's rock solid. It's not going anywhere. I feel pretty comfortable with just the two screws. Again, up to you guys and whether or not you want to take that extra step to take the lights apart. But when the projector's in, you can go ahead and mount your high beam wires. So these are the high beam wires. They plug in to a little plug back there, which is probably hard to see. Uh, if you want to use the high beam on these by Xenon projectors, all you need to do is tap into the high beam wires on your current setup. So strip this wire back, brown to brown, white to white. That would be a great idea to solder, shrink wrap. Uh, if you can't solder, you can tap it in. This is protected. It's it's dry in there, so a good splice with some nice electrical tape would probably be okay as well. Then you want to plug this all back together, put this back in, put your new bulb in. This is your bulb holder. This is going to have to come out, right? Bulb goes in. That snaps back in. Put your uh, igniter back on the back of the bulb, and then you're, you're sealed back up from start to finish. Maybe 30 minutes tops. That's taking your time. Pretty easy stuff to do. Great upgrade. Real inexpensive. Go to our website to buy the parts. HIDProjectors.com. You can search the search box for Audi or for All Road, and it'll both pop up. This, again, this is the 4TLR projector, and uh, it's a great DIY project. You guys can hand these things in and out in no time. Easy, easy weekend project. Uh, if you have questions, give us a call. 716-662-3479 or Email me directly, tom at hidprojectors.com, and here's a quick shot of what it looks like. So as far as those lenses are pretty shot, but it is a uh, looks factory, but it's going to perform just as good as anything else on the road. Thanks for watching, guys.